Hi y'all, this is Jeff from Jeff's Festival Garden and Containers. Uh, we're in our first week of December. I believe today's the 5th. Just wanted to go through and show you how we're making that so far out here in the greenhouse recently. What I did today, uh, when I got home was I uh, went through the, which this is a potato plant here. It's awful wet right now because I just watered it. Plus I uh, put some uh, potting soil on them. So, what I did was the stuff that's back here, you see it's all around that I'm overwintering and stuff. I don't do much to it. I'm not gonna water it anymore or fertilize or anything because I don't want it to grow anything. But the stuff that still seems to be growing so I'm like, <clears throat> I got a hold of some, uh, I got a 50 pound bag of potting soil, which is out here. And uh, I spread it all around everywhere uh, where I wanted it to keep going. You can see I probably put, you see there's a bunch of potting soil I refreshed in that pot with those potatoes. I refreshed that soil with those potatoes, and I refreshed those soil with that potatoes, and I refreshed that soil there with those eggplants. Uh, right now, uh, let's go through this too. I refreshed uh, spinach. You can see the zucchini going there. There's another zucchini going right there. Uh, that's a uh, pepper that's starting to come back a little bit, but I didn't refresh it because I already got this pepper here coming back, this pepper plant. And these two down here, which are a squash, uh, you can see they're still flowering, and I put some uh, fresh potting soil and watered those too. Also, what I did was when I came, got home with uh, this is a, a squash plant there, and these two broccoli, which you can see from the stuff I got there and over there. I cut anything that wasn't looking great off of them as far as leaves and stuff like that, and then the, the spinach. I, uh, you see the bulbs starting to come out, but I thinned it out completely, so hopefully we can uh, get these things to start growing to a little more decent of a size. Uh, it's a little a little cold to be doing that, even though it's warmer in the greenhouse, but we're going to see how it works out. I also took uh, potting soil to all these, a, a very liberal amount in each one. I would say it's about four inches of potting soil in each one I put in each one. So it, uh, in no time at all, you can go through a... Uh, 50 pound bag of potting soil out here and back on like you see them strawberries I did over there so everything's still flowering as you can see up here which is hard to believe because out here right now if I'm looking down at my outside thermometer it says 43.8 um, last night was down in the 20s and like I said I really keep this thing sealed off so I'm not wasting any air. It's not 100% air leak proof, but I wish I could get more outside air to it, but it's just not set up that way. And I'd rather not get the air to it, make up air and open it myself every so often on days just to get some air in here. Then uh, I'd rather CO2 levels be a little bit higher uh, from everything growing. And then I, I just air it myself every so often. Uh, but you can see for the middle of December for all that stuff to still have green stuff on it from those peppers back there, the tomatoes got leaves on them and everything. It's doing okay. And what you'll see is I got a little bit of this white powdery mix on here that comes through on this stuff. So I took a lot of it off and got rid of it. You can still see the moisture going up and down the walls. And like I said, I watered uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pots but I didn't drag the hose all the way out here uh, I did it with my watering jug this time because uh, I didn't feel like dragging the hose out here it's, it's cold out uh, it's 43 but with a little bit of breeze and everything it feels like it's in the 20s so I'm going to wrap this up soon get this thing shut back down get the heater put back in here and uh, get it back to where I like to have it um, for the winter and we're when you do gardening, one thing I can tell you is I'm real successful in the spring and the summer. I'm even successful in the winter most of the time. But um, right around the corner, corner is uh, seeding season, believe it or not, coming in uh, February and March for getting everything ready. But um, gardening's like, uh, how do I explain it to you? It is not a science. People might tell you they have a science and how perfect it is and what they know, but it's not because something that works great for me doesn't work for the others and some things that they do that works great for them 
uh, doesn't work good for me at all. So everybody's got their own soil mixture. Everybody's got their own way of planting and their light and how much sun they need. And it honestly, it depends on where you live and what you're growing. So I'm going to let you go with that. I'm going to probably check back here with the way these potatoes are. I'll probably come in and maybe give them some fish emulsion probably in the next two or three weeks. And then probably, a, probably mid January or so, I'm going to empty them buffies out as of my experiment and just see what kind of potatoes we get out of them things. So there's a, a 25 gallon container, three or three 25 gallon containers. No, my potatoes grow in hot weather. They don't do too good in this, but I am keeping the um, greenhouse at 55, 60 all the time. It's always got a good condensation in here. So even though it had a good condensation, everything was pretty dry, but we'll just see how everything keeps uh, going at him. We pull them, I'll send you a video just to see, just so we and everybody knows. And plus I have them sitting on the ground, if you see down there. And normally I have them sitting up on pallets uh, that I'm trying to grow. So it's, it's, it's just a little thing. It was a couple seed potatoes. You can see they're growing good, but how well they produce uh, in them buckets right now by looking at the leaves and the way things are going, we had to have an okay thing of potatoes out of there, but um, I think I put them in mid-September to early October, so probably towards the end of January, I might be telling you a story. I, I, I'll pull them out and that'll give them four months. And they can stand there long, but I'll probably give them four months just to see for myself uh, what I get out of them. All right, guys, I'm going to let you all go. Um, i got to clean everything up before it gets dark out here a little further and keep going with everything, keep moving along here. Uh, I'll be talking to you in the next couple weeks. I'll be sending something out weekly here soon. Again, getting back to that, I've just been real busy, as everybody is with decorating for Christmas and grandkids and all that stuff. Everybody knows how that is. All right, guys, you have a great rest of the week, and I'll be talking to you soon. Uh, like I said, we're on uh, YouTube at uh, Just Vegetable Gardening and Containers. And like and subscribe, it's very much appreciated. It keeps these videos uh, going. Um, mostly through a weekly thing during a real prime season, but maybe every two weeks in the off season. Uh, you can go out to uh, Instagram at uh, Jeff's Gardening Tips. Uh, works out real good. Uh, for Instagram, you can go out to uh, also on uh, Facebook to Jeff's Gardening and our sites out there to see the videos and all that. And as we get moving on here a little further, we'll keep uh, we'll keep you in touch as we uh, get this channel going a little bit more. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of the week.